Yeah. Sin the Lucario is who beat Blue and Seti. And uh, I'm un I don't remember who King K. No, King K and Ben lost in winners. That's what we commentated earlier. Yeah, so this is losers. Yeah, this is losers semis. Okay, so losers semis. Losers bound, eights, I'm sorry. Losers eights, Bound and Cade versus King K and Backslash Ben. Here we go. Relatively even percents right now for both teams, but Red Team's starting to take a semblance of a lead. Yeah, and we don't have a lot of Lucario matchup experience here in DFW, so King K is going to be a little bit uncomfortable there, but. It Ooh, that back is going to send King K off, but not killing yet. Going to look nice, nice disjointed move to deal with the big body of Rob. I can imagine Rob struggling in the edge guard situation for Ness in that matchup. Ooh. Oh, yeah, the downer to up smash. Okay, so beautiful stuff right here. Okay, all right, now I'm trying to use the side back oh, to make yeah, it back. Doesn't hit the tech though. Yeah, had a chance, even DI'd in in order to make it to the tech area, but unfortunately just didn't find it. And you, you really got to take care of this Lucario right now because he's building up a lot of aura, and that's that's gonna be super scary, especially yeah, in a double situation. Definitely not the percent you want to leave Lucario alive. Oh at, no. You know? You, you gotta kill Lucario early. Ooh, he's gonna make it back using the extreme speed up B. King K knows about those yo-yo edge guards. <laughs> All right, this is high percents right now for Lucario, but still unable to find the stock. Oh, and Ben oh, getting a little bit of heal right there. Not gonna kill Ben, but at the same time, this Lucario has a lot of aura built up. Ooh, definitely oh, looking for that heal down. again, and Bound gonna find it. Just yeah, Smash percent. finally gonna take that stock. All right, and now this is I a very small lead from uh, Blue Team. Yes. Yeah, Blue Team. I mean. And the only reason it's a lead is because uh, Ben is alive. Yeah. Lucario is a super high percent. Oh, and he gets oh hit by the cannon. Oh my god! And it okay. doesn't get extended. Uh, <laughs> sometimes you can like throw your body in the nest to edge guard him if you're like a stock ahead and shorten the cannon, but it didn't get shortened enough and he still made it back. Yeah, I can imagine him trying to shorten his recovery height just so he wouldn't make it back, but Bound still being able uh -oh. Ooh, to and he catches the drew. Unfortunately, not oh, going to get missed through the second the stock. And Rob sitting at over 100%, definitely. It's going to be scary to deal with Ness at this ledge pressure situation again. But and Bound opted to just let him recover and reset Bound the is on his last stock. And uh, Lucario, I mean, he's scrapping it out over there with Ben. Yeah, he's got to do a little bit more to take this Rob stock. Back here, it's finally going to be the thing that's going to take it. All right, three stocks apiece. And let's see how... Oh, uh, is Ben going to oh, take Lucario? Smart. Oh, I the like fire edge guard and he two frames him. Let's go. One thing I want to say though, I like how Bound did the PK fire on the gyro just so he could make approaching the gyro safe for him. And you have to get out of Buster form right there. That's going to be so much damage on you. Ooh, okay. Try to go for the Nair out of shield, but backslash Ben with the upbeat to respond. Fourth throw tries to catch a jump. Another oh, that was one. a great angle from Lucario. Backslash Ben. Sitting at 60% plus with two stocks, tanking everything oh, for the blue it's team. Be KK out. All right, the team but... still has the advantage though. This is not quite over for red team though. Yeah, and especially since they've been healing bound with uh, the aura spheres. I mean, this is yeah. something that can go pretty well. All right, oh, I was down about to say, over 100% for Lucario. That would have been prime time area of rage yes. just to make a comeback, but. Now Action. Bound is all by his lonesome. Is this? Oh, oh. the miss spacing on the up smash. That would have been it, too. Is he actually going into shield mode just so he could get a smaller grab range or grab knockback? Interesting. All right, get the arm rotor. Good defense. Ooh. Oh, he's okay, not going to die yet. Trying to look for the side shine into the back air. Oh, he's a good match out of the grab. If he could get a back throw on the shoulder. Maybe. Maybe. That was such good coverage. Oh my oh, gosh! It's a tall order, though, to be able Ooh, to make it back no tech. against King K. King K's edge guarding is just impeccable for Rob. <laughs> I mean, he's you, played you, people like Austin before, so he knows Austin, Chucky, you know, all of our local messes. He, he knows how to edge guard that. Absolutely. So, great stuff to King K and Backslash Man picking that game one. Bound and K now have to make the adaptation with the stage counter pick. And uh, King K is a really solid player all around. I think he placed second last night at Smash Odyssey. He placed like third or fourth uh, Thursday at Freaks. He, he's a really solid player in the area. Ooh, yes. All right, going to town and city.
Let's do this. Big it's gonna be solid. High blast zones, but also very narrow on the side. Yeah, very narrow on the side. Town and City kind of retains the side blast zones of like Smashville in yes. that sort of regard. So it's gonna be easy for Rob to get kills off the side with like back air or like gyro carries off stage. So that's gonna be the main thing I would assume Lucario and Nessa have to watch out for. And on this big stage like this, it's gonna be easy for Rob to transition into that setup. They're gonna have a lot of room to to run around and build up damage on specifically King K is uh, who they were targeting last match and doing a good job of it until the very end. Oh yes. Here we go. 53% on King K right now. Just the nature of being a big body means you're gonna get juggled in a lot more situations than you would prefer. But Rob does have the frame oh. data to keep up. In the, in yeah, the Rob is a very doubles. solid character in this game. And especially with Gyro and Laser just being able to shoot something down the aisle and uh, uh, potentially get some damage or a kill even. Yeah, make it a threat just in general. It's nice. Just owning the, space. Yeah, limiting one of the options. bonuses that Rob has that few characters in the game get the advantage of. That was amazing DI from Ben. I think also Shield Form saved him just a little bit, but uh, yeah, that was also just super amazing that he even lived that up there. One thing I will say as well too, Rob doesn't have too many options, great options out of Shield. I mean, the best option you have is like Fair, which comes out like really fast, but it's a forward-facing hitbox, so he doesn't really have anything to respond behind him. So he can also, it. I guess, um, like up smash out of shield if you're like uh, mis poorly spacing things. Down oh, down smash. smash, and that's gonna take Lucario's stock. Yeah, and somehow King K taking this third stock and living on to dear life. It's gonna be easy for Bound to find a situation where you can get like a back air or a good aerial to take it. Man, Ooh. being able to heal your teammate in this uh, situation honestly seems really freaking good, especially in doubles where every percent honestly matters. Every percent counts, and you have to make the utmost of it. And Bound trying to make the utmost of that heal, getting a little bit back. But oh, the upbeat yeah. from backslash Ben, taking that stock from Lucario. All right, and this is uh, pretty even. I mean, Ben's at a super high percent, so he's got to watch out. Ooh. But uh, at the same time, Lucario also Ooh, not in kill percent for that. But I mean, if he gets the Edgar. All right, Ben what, is going to die. It was like... I was watching the Rob. I'm not sure what he died. Sorry. Right. Well, it, well, regardless, Net, Net's taking that stock and then set up a really favorable situation for a red team. And now Bound is getting these grabs and <laughs> sending all them off laser. stage. Yeah. Good back air. Uses the PK oh, Thunder. High. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be harder to kill with that move up oh, top. And Ben. Because of the big blast zones. Ben died super early there because he was in jump form. And that makes him a super light character. Ooh. He struggles though. Ooh, gonna get the heal up too? It, Great awareness from Bound. All right, Lucario's dead. I mean, King K is at a super high percent, so this is looking scary. This I mean, it's, it's not out of the realm of possibility, especially with shield form. And uh, I will say though, this is definitely prime back throw percents for Ness. So you see Bound sniffing for Rob, looking for those crafts. He wants to get his hands on him just so he can get that back throw and set up for a 2v1 situation with Shulk. Man, there we oh, go. Yeah. The, the command grab that's gonna do and a lot now, and he's just yeah. gonna heal up the stock and I mean yeah. this that makes the 2v1 so much harder it when does. you can work so hard and then your opponent basically has an auto heal it oh, that's make so tough. it so frustrating just to even get one hit in and at that point I'd start like targeting yeah. Luke, the Lucario because that's like all you can do I mean if if he's able to sit there and charge um, the aura sphere and a very non-committal uh, side magnet from Ness I mean I feel like Shulk, in a 2v1 situation, just being a mid-weight sword character, you get juggled pretty susceptibly to just like back and forth horizontal yeah, carry. Yeah, that's going to be a back throw. Oh, he was All looking right. for the up air too. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter, but at the same time, uh, could have definitely been a conversion to definitely still have kill. If it yeah. supposedly did. Either way, Bound and K going to take that game two, and now we're going to another game three situation for doubles. All right. You're starting to see a lot more game threes as the team start to get uh, a little bit more coordinated. Going to Smashville. All right. This is going to be interesting to see. Smashville going to... What are my more favorite stages? Yeah, it's going to destroy stocks incredibly early. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean... I like it too. I would prefer the old school Smash 4 style, but this is still nice a nice version of Smashville that I can appreciate. All right, and we're, you know, we're going to see um, avoiding back throws is the game here. <laughs> God, let's hope so. We can only hope. 
All right, and uh, Bound get, gets an early grab on King K over there. Great possibilities to happen here in game three. Blue team looking to take a quick lead. They don't want the same situation to happen as game two, where Shulk was in a 1v2 situation, and he had so much work to just even get even a small minor percent on this. Yeah, Rob, it, it, definitely going to have to stay alive a little bit longer. Bound is doing a good job of not getting touched a lot and uh, not racking up that percent, whereas King K is at 111. Ooh, the backslash, sending him off. Oh, in the back here, gonna send Ben out. And King K also losing his stock. So what do you feel like is the most threatening team, or the most threatening thing that the red team is giving to the blue team right now? Like, what do you the think- The threatening thing? What do you um, think is the most frustrating thing that blue team is dealing with from the red team right now? Honestly, it's uh, a mixture of the healing and how defensive Bound is playing. I mean- Yeah, with, I agree. Uh, because Bound just putting so much pressure on King K and even Ben, um, it's it's looking a little bit rough, and I think Ben could do a, a little bit of a better job just spacing out. He is a sortie, so I mean, if you if you play a little bit more defensively and use your sword oh. as an. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh, excuse me, that miss tech right there is appalling. How do you not make that? Oh, mm. that is crucial in a situation I mean, like this. That's the pressure that it comes with being in a game three and being behind. Oh man, King K unfortunately gonna set his team behind this in Smash form. That's gonna kill Lucario, and all of a sudden this is brought back. Still, though. and you really do have to put more pressure on uh, the Ness here, and that's yeah. been the driving force behind this team. I mean, Lucario is playing the support role rather than like being kind of a carry, uh, like Bound is being. And as we say that, little by little, backslash Ben is just continuing to, to get the damage racked up on him. Almost at over 100%, this is not the point you want to be at with Shulk on your second stop. <laughs> Especially in Smash 4. All right, oh there we go. And he gets that heal. That's a 30% heal. He was at 54. That's crazy. That, oh, and Ben that, SDs. That works out so oh, well. Oh, also SDs at 34. That, that honestly that's, changed the tempo of the game. Yeah, that's huge. That makes it so this pretty much is even at this point. Because if King K can kill the Lucario, and not die before that happens. I mean, honestly, this uh, yeah. th this was looking kind of over, and then bound SD. Whereas earlier, if they had kept that second stock, like it would have set up for them to not have to commit whatsoever in neutral. Uh, it's looking like we're going to set up for a really big 2v1 situation. <gasps> oh, and there we go, Lucario's dead. But it's still scary because both of them are attacked up. Oh, oh, the arm rotor! The back the hit! Kill! The freaking back hit of side B! You gotta be kidding! King oh. K with the clutchest of edge guards off save. Oh my goodness! And honestly, the entire game was based off of that one SD on stock two from bound. Beautiful stuff. Oh my goodness! But that yeah. was so insane. Smash Odyssey and low tier city happening here in Texas, guys. Oh.